Zane knew about another relic? I shouldn't be that surprised. He could always get so obsessive. But what did Ivy mean when she said the Romaid relic? I haven't a clue. I'm just as lost as you are. <sighs> All right, Garth, calm down. Remember, we want to keep a low profile here. We don't want to get caught. We still have to get your mother free. Funny running into you guys here. Uh, what? What happened, Caitlin? I may have underestimated some factors during my investigation. It sounds like you messed up. Now isn't the time for this, guys. Garth, I'm sorry, but we have to leave. What? But we can't. My mother. It's not safe for us anymore. We have to go. We'll come back for her later. I think she might have gone this way, bro. Uh, Garth, I'm so sorry. But if we don't go now, we may never get a chance to get her out again. We have to go. Please. You can trust me. I... Right. Let's go. Come on. So, let's see. From what Amber tells me, you guys had a rough time during your night on the town. Care to fill me in on the details? We hit some unexpected roadblocks while we were there, and as a result, we didn't get the information that we were looking for. And you then got stuck in Ocasus for the night. <laughs> Amateurs. I'll give you credit. Good job staying hidden through the night. Thanks, huh? Uh, I wasn't talking to you. We decided that we'd try again once night hit to see if we could learn anything new. And that's where things went off the rails. Not only did you get discovered, but on top of that, Tula now knows about our entry point. You three are the worst pseudo-thieves I've ever had the displeasure of coming across. I beg to differ. I think I would make a pretty good thief, actually. What? You? Yeah. I was able to sneak away from you and Caitlin pretty well. I even got into the jail cell without incident. That's nothing to be proud of. You almost got us caught. This coming from the woman that had the entire Tula search party looking for her. I'm surprised half of Ocasus didn't know about you with the way you were yelling. It was only three guards. Jeez. And I can't help it if I'm a little loud when you're being chased by guards with swords. Wait, Garth? Since when did you see yourself being a thief? I thought you didn't like thieves. I didn't. However, that was before I found out how good I am at it. <sighs> Great. A bragger. Well, I hope you have more information for me. Uh, I would hate to have lost an entryway into Ocasus and have nothing to show for it. Did you find anything? Only that Ivy is looking for members of the Romay family. <laughs> Good luck with that! The only thing I've heard about that family is that all the men are dead. Only Lady Romay remains. Even we don't know if Lord Gart of Lord Romave lives. But that is interesting. So there must be some secret in the Romave family that nobody knows. Hmm. I even wonder if they know. In any case, thank you for helping us get into Ocasus. Thankfully, it didn't turn out to be a complete wash. It didn't end in the best of ways, but I've still got an interesting lead to follow up on. Let me know if you're ever dumb enough to want to get into Ocasus again. I'd love to test out some possible entryway points with expendables like you. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Thank you again.
We need Ivy. Well, that sounds like the worst idea ever. Careful, Caitlin. Your optimism is showing. I'm serious. We need to know what Ivy knows. She has us at a disadvantage right now. She has the most answers, and we've got all the questions. We need to level the playing field, and the only way to do that is to know what she knows. That's easier said than done. Did you forget that she's in Ocasis? I know. So we'll need something that she wants in order to get her out of there. And if we can lure her out, we can meet her on our terms. Ha! <laughs> A trap for that wench! I love where this is going. What could she want, though? <laughs> A Romay. I... really don't like where this is going. I don't mind. You cannot be serious. I don't think I'd be very good bait. <laughs> Relax, Gareth. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Zane. Z Zane! It's too risky to use Gareth. Are you forgetting that Zane is dead? We're the only ones that really know that, Caitlin. That's true. He and it... I... I'm sorry. It's okay. It's fine. In any case, no one knows that Zane is dead. They just know that he's been missing. We just need someone to dress and act like him so we can show the public and get Tula's attention. Well, I would do it, but I don't look anything like Zane. My hair would give it away. Yes. But even though you're still a Romave and you know him best, trust me, it wouldn't work. I'm a few inches taller than Zane. Everyone would know that I'm an imposter. Uh, it's a terrible idea. Really? Because I thought you guys were the same height. No, I'm taller. Oh. <laughs> Always have been. I see. Sorry. It really can't be any help. Huh? Hmm. Wait. What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? Though you know, you have the same hair color as Zane. <laughs> I mean... You are a lot shorter than him, but I think we could get away with it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you can't be serious. <laughs> Just hear me out. If you were to dress as him, problem, that means that we would have to get an outfit that looks like Zane's. Where are we going to... I can help with that. Huh? Uh, where do you keep coming from? The shadows. What? Uh, I see you've gotten better at your thieving, Amber. <laughs> yep. Now, as for Zane's clothes, I believe I can help with that. How so? The contact I met in Ocasus had a lot of the Romave's belongings. Their houses were the first thing that was robbed when Tula first attacked. I happen to have a set of Zane's clothing, as well as Lord Garte's. What? Well, that works perfect then. What's the price? A date with me? Uh, excuse me? How about a fist to your face? Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All I ask is that you bring them back. Besides... The boss is my target. Anyway, follow me, Afmau. <sighs> I'm starting not to like my own plan. <sighs> you look just like him. It's so similar. I'm getting angry just looking at you. I almost want to punch you. 
Don't you dare! Please? It would feel so good. For you. <sighs> How about it, Zane? Uh, cut that out! <laughs> this is really weird. Honestly, this feels wrong for me. Are you okay with this, Afma? You don't have to do it. We can find another way to lure Ivy out. It's alright. This is... something that we have to do. Afma. You'll be fine. I know, Caitlin. I'll be fine. Thanks. What are you doing out here? I thought you'd be inside with the others. Yeah. Just... getting some air. I can't stand being in that damp cave sometimes. I need to get out. <laughs> I don't know how you and Caitlin can stand it. Garth, you've been acting kind of strange. What are you talking about? <laughs> I should be asking you that. Have you seen the way you look right now? It's... You've been acting different since we got back here. Are you okay? <laughs> no. I'm not. Of course I'm not. I left my mother in Ocasis. It's tearing me up inside. I can do this. And make bad jokes. Or I can be sad about it. I don't intend to weigh us down with this. I want to be strong for the group. For you. At first I wanted to be mad. But it's not Caitlin's fault. She was only helping my mother in the first place. But what good can I do her when we're out here? Garth, it's all right. I left her there. She's still a prisoner, and I abandoned her. Garth, it's all right. You're still alive, right? Is this some kind of trick question? <sighs> no. It's not. As long as you're alive, we can still help her. Of course. You're right after now. It's really weird to hug you when you're dressed as my brother. Let's not talk about that. Are you ready for this? As I'll ever be. And you're feeling better? For the time being. I'm glad. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tell Ruan that Zane Romave lives. Okay, let's just ignore how weird this is and get things over with. This will be easy. Oh, jeez, and now everyone's staring at me. <clears throat> uh, that's right! I am Zane Romave! <clears throat> Zane Romave? But I thought Tula officially declared you were dead! Uh, well, th they were wrong! Uh, the. Caitlin, your mustache color's wrong. It's okay, I just brought some of your hair. What?! We'll talk later. Don't believe Tula's lies. Um, I am the Zane of Romave. Romave Zane. That's me. Yes. Did somebody here say Zane Romave? 
That was, yes, me. I am Zayn Romave of Ocasus. It is you. Stop right there. Ah! Zayn lives. Man, losing them was pretty hard. Running around in Zane's clothes is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Now, where's Ka- What? Ah! Deathmail! Ah! You scared me, Caitlin! Well, do you think it worked? Better have. I was amazing out there. Did you catch my performance? Oh yeah, Caitlin. <laughs> that was the best acting I've ever seen. Yeah, I knew I nailed it. <laughs> eh? Shut up. Those guards are circling back. It looks like they've finally given up. What? Uh, I wasn't even talking about... Uh, shh! What? Uh... <gasps> oh, no. Well, any luck finding them? Nah, dude. I did... What was that? Uh, I mean, no, sir. I lost track of him. He's surprisingly fast for being such a short guy. Uh, rats. Okay, then. We'll have to report this to the general. Better safe than sorry on this. Go back to Ocasus and tell the higher ups that Zane Romave was seen in Naraka. Uh, right. Oh, this is just a quick errand. So don't go visiting your brother while you're there. You shouldn't be hanging around those worthless plebes. He's not my bro. He's my cousin. We've been over this before, remember? I... I... Ah, whatever. I don't care. Just go already. Sure, dude. I, I mean, yes, dude. I mean, sure, sir! We'll just stay here, and... Well, I think that answers your question. Good. Come on. Let's head back to the guild. We've got to get ready for Ivy. <laughs>